Welcome to another Warframe tip of the day. Today we will be showing you how to easily get the resource alloy plates. I will be showing you a couple different places depending on your mood. With every mission, don't forget to set your gameplay to solo. This will prevent you from getting extracted early or making your teammates wait. First let's head over to Gabby on Sayers. This is a level 15 to 25 survival mission but also a dark sector which spawns infestation but also drops resources at an increase of 35%. Here I am bringing my looting Cora with my Smita Kavat. My looting Cora is equipped with the mod Pilfering Strangle Dome. This gives her an extra loot drop chance when enemies get tangled in her cage. My Smita Kavat is equipped with the mod Charm, also another extra loot drop chance. Ally plates are dropped by enemies, containers, opening lockers, and ally drums. Here on Gabby we are going to only focus on enemies in only 10 minute runs. If you are running this solo, you might end up running out of oxygen too soon if you focus on container farming over enemies. Here I'll be staying put inside my cage. The enemies will flood in the first 5 minutes and your cage can instantly kill them. Ally plates shall be flooding in. I recommend equipping the mod Fetch on your Kavat or if you're using a companion, equip the mod Vacuum. This will suck the resources right towards you. Between 5 to 10 minutes will start to prove challenging. Enemies will be able to penetrate your cage and ancients will appear. Keep focusing on killing enemies non-stop. After 3 10 minute runs with a resource drop chance booster, I managed to get around 3900 alloy plates. If you're running this mission with a squad, you will have the chance to explore and break open containers and kill more enemies. This will increase your drops for alloy plates. If you want to container farm without the hassle of hordes of enemies, then let's next check out the map Palace on Sayers. This is a low level extermination mission with Grenier enemies. Here I am using my Limbo Prime to container farm. I have him built with max range and loot detector. When you get into the mission, you'll see white boxes on your map. I like to run around with the big map open. Your goal is to eliminate all the white boxes as well as enemy. Limbo is useful here when modded correctly. I also have the vacuum mod equipped on my companion for easier cleanup. Here's what you do. When you are in an area with containers, hit your number 4 ability. This will break open the containers in a wide area if you modded it with max range. Next run around and let your vacuum mod suck everything up around you. Limbo's number 4 can break containers through walls, the floor, and hard to reach locations. If you run out of energy, go into rift mode and wait for energy to build back up. Keep a lookout for lockers and alloy drums as well. With a resource drop chance booster, I got around 5000 alloy plates per run. Without a booster, I've gotten between 2000 to 3000 alloy plates per run. And each run took me about 10 minutes. And there you go, two low level missions to help you farm alloy plates. Play around with resource boosters in different Warframes and tell me in the comments how you did on your run. If this tip helped you, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And if you're feeling extra generous, hit that super thanks.